Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video or work this problem out on your own, unpause it and then we will look at our answers together. So a carpenter charges $720 for 18 hours work and we have the, an equal rate. So it's the same amount of money for each hour. So we need to show a, uh, the relationship between the amount of time that he works and the amount of money that she charges. But you're not going to see this 18 anywhere. So this 18, 720 is not going to show up anywhere on any of our tables. So there's a few different ways that we could do that. So 18 hours equals $720. And so really when we're looking at that, we're looking at a rate. How much does she charge per hour? Well, and what we could do is we can go ahead and take that 720 when we're thinking of the dollars that she charges per hour, that really actually gives us our equation, 720 divided by 18. So we have our dollars as our numerator, we have our time, in this case 18 hours, as our denominator, and so she charges $720 for 18 hours of work, and we can actually just do a little bit of long division here to figure out what her per hour rate is. So 18, I'm thinking it's going to be about 4, because 20 times 4 is 80, it's a little bit less than that. So that's 32. And let's see, we've got 4 times 1 is 4, add the 3 is 7, so there we go. We do have 4 right there. That's going to be 72. Bring that 0 down, she's not charging 4 an hour, she's charging 40 an hour. That's a good rate, $40 an hour. So, we have $40 an hour. Once again, $40 doesn't really get us anything. But what we can do now is we can just look at the relationship here for each of these. And is this a times 40? Because that's what we're looking. And if we do have a times 40, if that's going to be our relationship here, then that's going to give us our answer. So, 2 times 40 makes 80. Yeah, 4 times 40 makes 160. Yep. So that looks, so it looks like A is going to be our answer, but let's just double check the others. So 19 times 40. I don't think that's going to work, but let's just double check. So we've got 0, 0. 4 times 9 is 36. And then 4 times 7, so 7, 60. So we're off by 40. That's interesting because this says 18 hours for 720 and this one automatically says 19 hours for 720. So look at that, that just gives you the wrong number. And then as the hours go up every hour, it's a plus 18. It's more of an additive relationship right there. So that's not going to work because she charges 40 an hour. So 3, what is this? This looks like it's times 25. Yeah, this is a times 25 relationship here. It's a good relationship. It's at least solid all the way down. It's a multiplicative relationship. But it's not what we're looking for because she doesn't charge 25 an hour. She charges 40 an hour. But this is at least a multiplicative relationship just like our rate is. And then D. Now D is funny. Look at this. The amount of money she charges stays at 720, so that, that's good. But look at your hours here. She charges the exact same amount for 14 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours, and 17 hours. That's not how it works. The more you work, the more you get paid. So first off, none of these hit 20. And then secondly, you don't keep your rates the same, uh, or at least the amount charged the same as your time goes up. So that's not going to work. So our answer is A, because it shows us that multiplicative relationship of times 40, because that is her rate per hour.